Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the build series. We are on the rival R32 GTR, stroked out RB30, big turbo, air, crazy stuff. And today we're doing something completely different. And we're gonna be cutting out our, whoa, there goes my tripod. We're gonna be cutting out the tubs here. Um, and the best thing is guys, it's not gonna be me doing it. I guess the process for now, uh, you're going to try to drill out the spot welds? Yeah, I'm just going to come in, mark out where all the spot welds are with my silver sharpie, put a center punch in there, and then just go ahead and pop her out with the old uh, spot weld drill bit. Oh just yeah. Pull her out for you. There you are. Let's try to do that and then separate the seam, we seam sealer and pull them out. Um, we're yeah. just... Yeah, we just, you know, we're not going to be using this stuff. And this, the, the factory ripples are kind of cool. Some people like them, kind of like. And uh, so we're going to be making this nice and smooth. Um, it's just going to look a lot better. So it's hot today. It's so hot today. I'm going to set the camera down and uh, I'm going to go back in the AC while Tevin sweats back. Or Devin. Yeah. See, that's, that's the hard part. We have a Devin and a Tevin. We have a CJ and a DJ. It's bad. It so used to. it does take some getting used to. So do it to it, girl. All right, let's go. So the last time you guys saw this thing, uh, we were just cutting out the tubs, uh, which is done. We'll be making them shortly, but before that, we had to get this turbo mounted. So walk me through the steps that you guys took to uh, kind of get this thing mounted and then also why we've got a, a mount for it. So the positioning of it is absolutely absurd. So. so Basically, what we did, we just tossed the turbo up in a position that we thought we'd like it um, because instead of a traditional turbo, where normally it's got like a four bolt flange to hold up the turbo and support the weight, um, this has V bands where the manifold will go in. So we had to make something uh, from the turbo drain. It bolts up to where the turbo drain, it's pretty much a turbo drain extension. Um, so that's what supports the turbo, and then we'll make a crazy looking. Um, manifold to come up and spool the turbo. Uh, we've got this collector right here. All billet. Beautiful. Oh yeah. And our predicted placement will be somewhere around here. And then just kind of you off of that? Yeah, so we're gonna have to wind up cutting this V-band off. And then we're gonna make something, another piece of pipe that comes off. And we'll weld the V-band right there. That's gonna be insane. Of course we wanted it front and center, but don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah. But it'll be cool, it'll be sweet, something different. And now we gotta start on the wheel tubs. Oh yeah, so you're, uh, you've mocked the wheels up here and we got one of the fenders mocked up. I mean, that's just absolutely ridiculous. There's a lot of meat on the front of this car camera just doesn't do it justice it's like it's pretty pretty insane well here yeah so what are you working on now you're just getting uh, it getting it low 
basically. Yeah, so I had to find out where the wheel's gonna sit. And of course, this car's gonna be on air. So when you guys are slam it, I needed to figure out where it was gonna be, but it's not gonna be much lower than this because the front of our control arm's gonna wind up hitting the strut tower. So Yeah, we can't have that. No. It's not like we can make something up here because it's not gonna clear the hood. Gotta start measuring out where I'm gonna put the wheel tub. Nice and smooth, probably out of three pieces, but be something sweet, something different. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna be insane. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of turbo just kind of barking at you there. So this side's all welded in, looking spectacular. Let me get a, let me get a little zoom in here on these, looking good. And uh, so that side's all in, and you've got this side shaped, and now you're starting to weld it, huh? Yep, starting to weld it, dress it up, clean it up, and then on intercooler piping. Oh yeah, I'm excited for that. The biggest thing is it's going to clean up the whole front end of this a lot. Yeah, uh, just having real nice smooth pans there. And then you can see here we actually blocked off the uh, the inlet that's normally in there, so it looks real clean that way. Is it as big as my head? I don't know. It's bigger, I think. I don't know. There's not many things bigger than my head. But yeah, that's, that's how we're the, thinking. Uh, looks awesome. I can't wait. And then the intake is absolutely monstrous over here. So, that's sick. I'm stoked, man. Another day, another dollar, Dave. Devin comes up to the front and says, hey Dan, can you come close out this video for me? He doesn't want to do it, so I'm going to do it for you guys. Uh, in this video, you guys saw Devin uh, work his tail off making two new tubs. You can see we've got the turbo on here. We've got 
some covers mocked up on here. We checked uh, hood clearance. We got the manifold mocked up. We got uh, the radiator mocked up. Not sure if we're still going to use this radiator or not. We are? Okay. Yeah, we are. So we are using this radiator. Uh, that's intercooler. been verified. And uh, we got the Hypertune intercooler mounted up. It is billet. And then uh, we also mocked up the front fenders, the front bumper. I don't know. If, did we show them any video of that? We'll send some pictures of Tevin. We'll send some pictures of Tevin. You guys can see that. Um, photo here insert photo tevin when you get this footage and we forget to send you photos remind us and uh but yeah so uh you're already starting on the next video intercooler pipe in oh yeah so be on the lookout for that video coming at some point and uh yeah it's just a lot of planning involved with this like we're double triple checking that like this is where we want our turbo this is where certain things are going to go that we don't have yet to get mounted up um, because we're keeping the front of this bay super clean we don't want anything from the strut towers forward like our like catch can reservoirs or anything we want it as clean as possible from the front up so that's the plan stan um, and it's taken a little bit more time to just plan things out and how we're going to move things so um, it's going to be awesome like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time.